you can hear the fans and you're just absolutely delighted that you've actually, you know, you're, you're making the fans happy. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. I mean, we, we want to make it, I wanted to make the fans happy and do the best I could possibly do for them. This was my starting position for um, my first goal for Everton against Liverpool. I'd been in this position before a previous corner kick, so I knew uh, the left back Andy Hinchcliffe, who was a great, great left foot in him and a great in swinger. So we'd uh, we'd practice it in training, and uh, the first one come in, and I just I've come off the goal, and I've, I've headed it out of the bar. I remember the second time it come in, I started in this position, and uh, the same 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 si uh, situation really. Uh, I've come off, come off the goalkeeper into this area. It's been a great, great in swinger inside. The goalie's come for it. I've managed to jump up through the crowd of players and get a nice touch on it, directing it towards the goal. And obviously, when it flies in the net, then everybody's gone crazy. I've turned in and I wheels away this way into the corner, and I'm, and I'm sliding away there somewhere into the corner of the Gladys Street, and the, the place is just erupting. You know what I mean? It was a, it was unbelievable uh, moment. The, the goal was in, in, important because it was it was my first derby game. It was uh, the new managers. Um, first game, and we were struggling at the time in the league, so that that um, that victory uh, set us up for the rest of the season, and uh, of course um, you know the rival in the city, and I think it'd been a wee while since we'd beat them, so it was always good to to get off the mark, you know what I mean, in the derby game. The next scored my hat trick at headers. Was um, was against Bolton, and it was uh, it was under the the great man himself, uh, Howard Kendall, uh, God rest him, and um, he made me captain of the club. Um, we're going through a difficult time at the time. We're fighting relegation, and uh, on that day, I managed to repair him, which was an incredible moment for 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 the team, and um, for, you know for myself for the fans really because we obviously were up against it and of course for him, he was such a great man and um, I was proud to, to be his captain and it was a, a special, special moment in my career. You're always hoping it's going to be a special night and your emotions are, you're, you're excited, you're excited, you can't wait, you want to go out there and you know, do the business. Um, I couldn't wait to get the shirt back on. I couldn't wait to get back out in, uh, in Goodison and uh, in, in front of the fans and uh, you know, show them what I'm capable of. And uh, you know, you're always you know a bit worried in case it doesn't go your way and you know don't get the result you're looking for. But um, you know, uh, it was a uh, you know, it was an emotional time, but it was also an exciting time and one that I, I relished. And when I came off the bench, you know, I knew that I had to repay the fans and repay the club, that they believed in me. And, um, you know, luckily, uh, things went well for me that night and I managed to come off the bench and score a couple of goals. It's just absolutely over the moon, you know what I mean? You're just delighted that you've managed to come back and you've got, you've got a goal back in your home debut again. And it was, um, it was amazing, uh, amazing feeling. But just real, real raw emotion. My last game, you know, the, the emotions that you you never play for Everton again. It was, um, you know, it was a it was a sad day, in in certain you know, aspects of it because I've been at the club so long, and um, but of course everything comes to an end, you know. So, but of course I also had the other party where I managed to score, and uh, so I had really great memories in my last match. Well, that's petrified to be honest, yeah. That, that, that's really the first thing I can even think about it because I hadn't been playing regularly. I was coming to the end of my career and, um, you know, I wasn't fit, basically. And um, I'd scored a goal early on in the game and it got ruled off for offside. So I was a bit deflated, really, thinking, you know, it's my last game and I've, I've got a goal. So I was made up and all of a sudden you see the flag got me and it's ruled off for offside. But then as the game goes on, we're getting beat, I think, 2-1. And uh, there's no long to go. Like a minute to go in the game, and we get a penalty. 
And of course, I wasn't on the penalties because I hadn't been playing regularly. Although I took penalties for Everton through, my, through parts of my career, I wasn't on the penalties. And I can't remember who it was. It might have been James McFadden or Michael Arteta or something. They've turned to me and they've, they've, they've given me the ball like, you know, I'm, I'm in bits. There's only a minute to go. I'm cramping up. I've got no power left. And of course, the fans in the, the stadium see this happening. And they all start singing your name and, you know, they're screaming and... You can, there's no way out it then. So you see, they're handing you the ball. And all that's going through your mind is Jesus, you know. This, this, you know I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm, you know, I'm thinking right away, negative thoughts. It's your last game. It's the last minute of the game. And the, 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 everybody's wanting you to take this penalty and, you know, goes forward and puts the ball down and everything's just rushing through you. And, you know, like, you, oh my God, you know, come on, just try and get a good connection. Just hopefully it hits the net, pick your side go through your routine. So I did that, but of course I had no power left. I was, I was completely gone. And as I goes back, I pick my side. And uh, I, hit it, I hit it that slowly. The, the, the goalies dived by it, luckily. It's, there was no power in the shot. And he's went by it, and, it's, and somebody must have smiled on me that day. And the ball's come back to me. You know, and I've just, I've, I've run to the ball and I've managed to get a good connection with my right foot. And it's managed to go through the through the goal into the net. This to make it 2-2. It's Ferguson. Denied. But no, he's made it eventually. And listen to the roar. And it was just complete relief, to be honest with you. And, I, and it was, you know, the emotion that was going through my body. That was the last kick of the ball for me, for Everton. And of course, I look back on it, still nervous about the situation, but also I'm glad it went in because you know you're, you're living it for the rest of your life. I would have anyway. Other people don't see it as a major event. I do. Your last touch of the ball at the Gladys Street end, and you know I was luckily, thankfully, that it went in the net. And of course it got as a point as well. It got as a draw. So I was absolutely delighted to be to, to finish my career with, with scoring. I'm scoring in the famous Gladys Street because, you know, I'd had 10 fantastic years at the club uh, and uh, you know, I'll never ever forget the moments and nobody will ever, ever take them away from me.